Mistake number six, and this is a big one. Mistake number six, adding platforms. I see more people pulling their hair out because of this, and they don't quite understand why. What are platforms? That's your floor and ceilings. What do platforms mean in your plan? It has a big effect on a lot of things. Let's move to the next one. I want to go over a few things I want you to remember about platforms, and I'm going to go show you how to add them. First thing to remember, always start the plan on the first floor. If you're going to draw a basement, start a blank plan or draw some exterior walls and then draw that basement in the foundation plan. The foundation plan works a lot differently than the other plan, other floors in chief. Okay, that's important. Get the platforms in as soon as possible. Getting them in makes the 3D model easier to work with. All right, so get those platforms in place right away. Use walls or railings to divide the platforms. Raise the ceilings on the first floor and it moves the upper floors up or down depending on what you do. All right, that's that makes sense, okay? Everybody understands that. If you raise the ceiling height, it raises the floor. All right, when adding a new floor and you've already raised your floors and ceilings, that new floor will automatically set reset all the ceiling heights of the floor below because it's going to put the new floor in at one height based on the default. That is normal. All right, a lot of people get thrown by that, but that is how the program works. So again, here, when you raise the ceilings on the first floor, it moves the upper floors up or down. When you change the ceiling height in a basement, it raises and lowers the concrete floor, not the floor joists above the basement. That's the big difference, and that's the one thing that really, really throws a lot of people, is they're messing with floor heights and things like that, and they don't quite understand what it's doing. All right, let's go talk about that for a little bit in chief. Let's go into that, and I'm just going to start a very, very simple plan. Again, if you guys have been in my class, you already seen me do it. You've already seen me, seen me do this, but hopefully this will help. So I'm going to hit Shift A. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to make this 40 feet by 30 feet. Okay, and I'm just going to draw a wall down the middle of this plan, and split the room. And I'm going to click on one side. So now I've got two different areas. I've got two opportunities to make platforms here. All right, so I'm going to open that, and I'm going to raise the ceiling height up to, I'll just put 12 feet just for the fun of it, and I'll, I'll raise the floor height 24 inches. Okay, you can see I already have a, my ceilings were set higher. All right, so there I've, I've made some changes to the floor and ceiling heights. So when I do a cross section, you can see I've moved these 3D CAD boxes, these platforms, to a different location in my plan. It works perfectly fine. Now if I go add a second floor. So I'm going to go to the floor tools right here, and we're going to build a new floor. Okay, so we always work from the first floor up. We're going to build a new floor. Make a second floor based on the floor, first floor, and say OK. We do a cross section through that. Lo and behold, I lost the ceiling height that I put in here before. Okay, see how the floor got put all the way through? That is normal. That is what the program does. It always puts new rooms back to the original height. All right, let me go show you something else. Well, let's say I go and fix that. So I'm going to click on this room again. I'm on the second floor. It says right here, second floor. Okay, so I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to open its dialog. And you'll notice in this menu, I have a place now to set the ceiling below height back to a certain number. All right. So when you're on the floor above, you will have the information for the floor below, and you can make changes there. So I can now change my ceiling height back to what I wanted it on the first floor. It's going to move the floor up, and when I get up here, it's, going, it's lowered my ceiling height. So now I need to make some adjustments there. All right, so I'm going to do that and click OK. Now if I do my cross section, now I'm closer to having it to where I want it to be. Okay, tall ceilings. Okay, so now I'm getting my platforms in the right place. Again, this is important, especially as you knew, if you're newer chief, get these done right away. Now here's the tool that you're going to love. All right, so I'm going to add a bunch of rooms up here, and 
we're going to go like that and I'm going to you know just add a bunch of rooms okay not that you'd want to live there but let's take a look at our model doesn't look so good go into glass house mode all but one room got set back to the default settings that's normal that's what the program does now what you do to work with that is go ahead and get your rooms in get things laid out don't worry about it yet although you know in your cross sections you already know that you've got it right all right now we're we've got our rooms in place now let's go into room and we're gonna look and say okay well this room is correct that is exactly what I want so from there what we're gonna do is we're going to click on this icon right here this is a huge, this is really big for floor and ceiling heights it's called select same type and those of you that are using it you I'm sure would agree that that is a, a, a nice tool so what I'm gonna do is click on that I've got the room that's correct highlighted I click on the select same type tool I'm gonna click on the floor and ceiling height tool or selections or you could also do anything else on the list here but those are the main things I use I might use platform thickness and things like that and I click OK and you'll notice that only that same room is still highlighted the other ones are not well that means that the one that is highlighted is correct if more than one were the same those would be highlighted too all right but notice down on the toolbar down here we have that similar looking icon but this time it says load values all right the first time you use that icon it's kinda of like hitting copy we're gonna copy these objects and now we've hit load value that's your paste button now I'm gonna go into these rooms and paste those settings into those rooms fixing the floor and ceiling heights for those rooms all at once now when I go look at my model everything will be good when I hit F12. Not a bad idea to end that function by hitting F12. But that tool alone, that one tool, will take a lot of the frustration out of setting floor and ceiling heights as long as you understand Chief will always try to reset things back to the default setting. That is what it does. Let's go run through a quick foundation when talking about platforms okay so I'm gonna to go to the foundation or the floor tools and I'm gonna say build a foundation and I'm just going to say I want my wall heights to be a hundred inches it's gonna give me a ceiling height of 96 and I'm gonna hit OK and I'm saying yeah go ahead and make it based on the first floor take a look at that you see well okay we got our step in the first floor but nothing in the basement if I do a cross section through that using the cross section tool everything's good but you know what why is my basement one level huh? maybe that's what you wanted that's fine alright the main thing I want to point out to you in basements again you can use the select same type tool once you get a room set to the correct height the main thing you have to remember in a basement is that first of all ignore a a doesn't matter we don't care about a they could take it off the list we don't care we don't care you want to look at B remember I said earlier when you change ceiling heights on the other floors it moves the floors up when you're in a basement when you're in a zero plan plan says zero you're in the zero floor when you change the ceiling height it raises and lowers the concrete floor not the floor joists so that's the only that's the first thing you look at when you come to a basement stem wall heights type a zero in there and the stem wall will snap to the bottom of the footing all right the footing will never go past the floor never it can't I mean it's programmed in it footing can't go past the floor so you just type a low number in there click OK and you've just made that adjustment to your basement floor and walls in the basement in the lower levels changing the ceiling height raises and lowers the concrete floor all right so that's your platforms as they relate to chief all right now the one I'm sure you've all been waiting for and let's go back to our PowerPoint so remember that tool a 
that's a tool that's a really really good tool it'll save you a lot of headache you know if you if you're not sure if a floor is set correct use that tool in one room it will highlight all the other rooms that are correct that one tool alone will save you a lot of headache